Hey Geovoxers, this time we're going to look at changing environment colors and prefabs. So we have our default scene here. Um, you can see the rocks are their default color and texture. We have the default trees, um, default meadow. And so first let's go and quickly look at how to change colors. So first we may want to change our rocks to a different color. Um, if you select in your block types, if you select on any of the blocks, it gives you a whole bunch of information um, about that block and places you can set different attributes. So to change our rocks significantly, we can go and look at the little color tiles over on the side. Now the albedo is the one you want to change and it will change the normal automatically with it. Um, and you can also play with the color so you can just adjust the color you want the existing rocks to be. Maybe we'll start with that really quick just to see what it does. So if I set that to red for the color um, and then nothing ever happens until you hit refresh world. So now if I hit refresh world it'll redraw and you'll see all my rocks now have a red tint to them. Well that's kind of odd for most situations. Um, we're not doing Mars here so I'm going to go ahead and set that back to white as I had it before. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my world so it's back to default. And then I'm going to actually change the albedo, which um, you m might be um, used to referencing it as the diffuse color. So if I go in here, then I can pick any of the existing um, colors that are in here for the select texture box. Now you can also load more and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I'm going to choose a different rock type, perhaps a, maybe a brown rock type. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this window so we can see the main window and I'll hit refresh world. And now all the stone has been replaced with the cracked earth texture that I just chose. Now I can still see some rocky gravelly stuff here and that's actually the erosion texture. So we can change that too. Um, let me find something a bit different for that one that might be kind of interesting. Maybe we'll do the um, say kind of a, a sandy something to go with the Let's choose that sand to go with the earth color we just chose. And I'm going to hit refresh world. And now you can see all of the places where the erosion was. It's basically kind of where the soil ends up for the trees to grow in. Has switched to that color. Now the meadow itself has a color underneath the grass. Which you can also change of course. And... Let's make this one full of flowers and see how it looks. There we go. So we've changed up our terrain quite a bit. Now we can also change our trees. Um, the trees are in the forest layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select my forest layer. I didn't change the, um, the bottom for the forest layer. Um, in fact, it's kind of hard to see what that would be, but it's going to be something around where the trees are. I'm not going to worry about that, but I am going to go down here where it says prefabs, and I'm going to select a different prefab to have instead of those pine trees there. So, and I want one that will show up pretty well. I think I'm going to pick this very spindly tree here, and then I'll close this window so we can see what's going to happen. And then I'm going to find my Refresh World button and go ahead and refresh the world. And there it is with the the trees with the much thinner um, limbs. And so you can see the terrain through the trees much more now. It almost looks like um, just recovering after a forest fire kind of trees. So anyway, that's how you make a pretty significant change of your terrain colors. Now one more thing you can do is up under the file menu, go to load asset pack and in the asset 
Backpack folder are a whole bunch of options. I have not played with everyone myself, but some are pretty interesting to play with. Some are color packs and some are actual, actually objects, so prefabs. Um, I think we will go into one of these maybe. Let's see, what's going to give us some nice... Um, Let's see what snow does. I'm guessing snow is going to give us a color. Now, whenever you load an asset, it opens up the the help panel over here. So you can just hit OK on there. And let's see if that gave me a snow. Yes, there's some snow textures here. So um, I think I'm in my, in my forest here. So I'm going to select a nice snow texture there and close the window and hit refresh and you can see a little bit of snow at the bases of the trees where you can see the forest so let's go and add in snow and some of these other textures I think the the meadow and the erosion could use snow I think we'll leave snow off the cliffs so the meadow and we'll go to the albedo and we'll choose um, a snow and I'm gonna choose that one and then refresh my world. And it's getting a little more wintry. Um, still some green grass. And we can probably just turn the grass off in a little bit. Um, the grasses are right here. And you can remove the last one by clicking here. So you can do one, two, three and get rid of all of them. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much right now and then I am going to go switch the erosion also because I think that's another one we see a lot of all the you know this lighter beige here so I'm going to switch that to snow as well and we'll go with the same snow I used and then hit refresh world and now we're getting pretty snowy um, <clears throat> maybe we'll go ahead and in the cliff we can pick one of these more icy looking rocks, like maybe that one, and see how that looks. So let's go ahead and refresh our world there. There, now we're looking quite wintry, and that still looks kind of like a frozen rock, which so uh, it's got a good texture for that. Now there are some um, snow trees as well, so I'm going to go back into my forest and click on the prefab um, pop up. And I'm going to select a snow-covered tree. You know, close that. And I will hit the refresh world again. And now we have snow-covered trees. And now for the grass, um, I'm not sure which grass this is. But um, probably, let's see. You need the grass to be white. The grass is already colored, so you can kind of alter its color, but you can't really make it white per se. So it might need, um, you know, an actual white grass model to do that. Um, that doesn't look like the the grass it's showing now, so I have to figure out which grass um, this is. Maybe it's the medium grass. Let's see if that's the. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that one either. So maybe it's the small grass that we're seeing here. Um, if I, yeah, there's the, there's the grass we're seeing. So um, if I'm going to have grass in there, it would probably be kind of frozen and dead grass. So I can overcome the, um, the green color of it by adding some red, of course, to make it more brown. So... Um, there's a kind of winter scene where it's just starting to melt a bit and so the you know dead grass is poking through so anyway i hope that's helpful for you geovoxers out there and until next time take care